On August 31st, 2023, I went to Austin, Texas to see Goat Whore play a show. I had never heard of this other band, though, called Cancer Christ, who were one of the openers that night. I arrived at the venue early, the Mohawk, and just hung out with the Goat Whore guys before the, sto the show started. I looked around, taking all of the senior scenery in, as the last time I had been to the Mohawk was almost 10 years ago. Despite all of the growing up I had done in that time, the city of Austin hadn't changed at all. It was still the same hipster college setting that tried its hardest to show that it was open-minded and so real. The city stayed the same. I was the one that changed. Close by the venue was a long-haired, bearded, blonde man and, and what looked like a group of guys, his friends or like a father and sons or something, I don't know. One of them was wearing a white shirt with Mr. Bungle on it in green letters. I didn't ever get the chance to compliment the shirt, but I was glad to see someone with a similar taste in music like me. Later, I understood that this group was from out of town. I had seen some of them walking around the downtown area, and they enjoyed Austin, from what I could see. I don't know why, but I felt proud that they liked a piece of my state. It was kind of like a Hank Mill... Hank Hill moment, I guess. <laughs> when I was sitting with my friends outside, I could hear one of the bands doing their sound check. It sounded good. Heavy. Then I heard, Jesus has a big cock. Jesus has a big cock. And I was pleasantly surprised. And I knew then that whatever band that was, was a band that I could get into. I stayed outside for a while and smoked a little bit of CBD to calm my nerves. I ended up missing the first band, but made my way into the venue to ensure that I'd have a good spot for when Goat Whore would come on stage. Eventually, that is. My clumsy, dorky self stumbled up the steps to see how much of the stage I could get a picture of. With all the people there, it wasn't really possible, so I just hung out in the back on what looked like some sort of closed concession stand. To my left, in the distance, were these picnic tables that people were hanging out at, and I saw, quite possibly, <laughs> the most handsome man I have ever met. <laughs> Someone that I'd fallen head over heels for. A man that I'd call a friend. I couldn't help but feel wistful. <laughs> he was sitting with a few friends, drinking a beer. And there was an empty seat next to him. And I wanted so badly to sit next to him. But I was too shy to go up there. That's always been my problem. I am, and always have been, way too shy. While I wistfully stood at the counter, wall flowering and thinking about love, <laughs> A group of people walked out to the left of me. A smaller person plopped up and stood ready. I looked over and this group of lizard or snake people had made their appearance with the man who was dressed all holy-like next to them. The trove of snake people caught the attention of everyone on the balcony. 
Everyone at the picnic tables turned their heads and looked around as this unique group of people easily caught everyone's attention. The holy man and his snakes, some who may have already had blood on them, walked past me. But not before the holy man took a flamethrower and let out flames on the concrete. I couldn't help but eep. <laughs> I was very close by and didn't want to set my clothes on fire. The group walked to a lower set of the balcony where a huge flame was let out by the flamethrower. If people weren't paying attention before, they definitely were then. The band assembled themselves on stage, and I hung out on a stairwell. Cantor Cry started their set, and it was a whirlwind. The holy man, St. Anthony, had such an engaging and fun stage presence. He interacted with the crowd, looking at us photographers and shooting his cross at various people. Cancer Christ, for those who don't know, are a metal band from Los Angeles, California. You can tack on other genres to their style, like hardcore, punk, thrash, what have you, but live, Cancer Christ is heavy. They are heavier live than what the recordings let on. What you listen to on Spotify and Bandcamp is only a fraction of what they sound like live. The former mediums do not do them justice, as this is a whole experience one must see live. One of the greatest aspects of this band is their engagement with the crowd. Before I even knew what was going on, Piss Snake, the bassist, had made his way up the stairwell where I was at and had started playing right there next to us audience members. Us photographers were trying to get as many pictures of him as we could, but I really had to just put my camera down. I, w I just wanted to enjoy what was a good time. Everyone was having a good time, surprised that some of the band members had actually came into the crowd. There were many of us who were seeing Cancer Christ for the first time, and we didn't know what was going on, but we were having fun. And that's the thing with this band, with this show. It was fun. Piss Snake got right in front of me on the stairs and continued playing. I had no idea what was happening, but I liked it. People from across the venue were filming, so I thought for some reason to try to do something sexy, so I was like touching his shoulders. I was so embarrassed. I was like, what was I doing? And I did talk to him later and apologized, and he was like, I didn't even notice. <laughs> One aspect that needs to be talked about is how talented all of these men are. Snake Boss jumping around all over the place, Piss Snake all over the stairs, Diesel Snake causing hell on stage, Apocalypse Snake in the back on his drum set never missing a beat. I wasn't as well versed in their songs as I am today, but as far as I'm concerned, not a single one of these men messed up while playing their songs. Through the high energy antics, they all stayed on track with each other. Somehow, with all these thick looking masks, they could still play everything. That is a feat within itself. I bring this up because I don't want their musicianship to go unnoticed. They are very talented musicians that deserve to be in the light. St. Anthony is a trip. He looks like he could beat you up 
while also being kind enough to help an old lady cross the street. He was really funny to me because he would talk to the crowd between the songs sometimes. And one part that sticks out to me is when he asked us if we liked the band so far. And of course, everyone in the crowd shouted yes. And he said, well, <laughs> then buy merch so we could come back. <laughs> His matter of fact way of talking was just humorous to me. It's a good thing that he told the crowd to buy merch because apparently at the show in Austin, the first show of that tour, everyone bought all of the butt plugs. Crazy stuff. I didn't even know that there were Cancer Christ butt plugs, uh, but they were probably sold out by the time I got to the merch table. And speaking of, and I didn't write this down, but obviously this band's making rounds to where later on on this tour, I guess they even ran out of shirts. People bought all the shirts they had too, which is so cool. Anyway, Cancer Christ was an incredibly fun band to see live. The only show that I have seen with even better theatrics is King Diamond. There are bands that go out there and perform. And then there are bands that go out and put on a show while they play. And Cancer Christ is the latter. When they finished their set, I was awestruck. The first thing that I thought of was, that was fun. That was fun. And that's one of my favorite things. I honestly just love it when a show is fun. I hung out on the stairs keeping my place for when Goat Whore would eventually come on stage. The crowd was chattering after Cancer Christ's part of the show, everyone speaking positively about the band. In the distance, St. Anthony was setting flames on the street with his holy flamethrower. We were all in awe at the band, the flamethrower, and just everything that had happened. After Goat Whore played, I went to the Cancer Christ merch table. I believe that I had talked to Piss Snake, who was in his human form. He was very friendly and nice. They had vinyls of their EPs and some other goods. And I ended up buying their EPs on Bandcamp so that I could jam them in my, in my car on the way home. I went outside to talk to St. Anthony and very sheepishly I asked him, <laughs> Are you Mr. Cancer Christ? <laughs> it, it's such a silly thing to have asked, but I really just didn't know what else to say or how to start a conversation with him. <clears throat> and he replied and told me that he was St. Anthony, or just Anthony. <laughs> I had asked if they were from Los Angeles, and he said, <laughs> the other guys are. No, I'm from Stockton. Don't get it confused. Which just made me laugh. He was a cool dude, and I told them that I thought they were really great. They played a fantastic show. I think he really appreciated that. I have no way to prove it, but I got the feeling that Texas surprised them with being a much more fantastic show than they had anticipated. A lot of people from out of state tend to think probably negatively about Texas, but they're surprised when they come here and especially if they look at the metal scene the rich metal scene here in the state people become very very surprised at how prevalent it is and hopefully 
cancer Christ will come back to Texas soon because we were just as pleasantly surprised with them that I'd like to think that they were surprised with us. If you listen to bands like Guar, Strapping Young Lad, Mr. Bungle, or things of that nature, you might like Cancer Christ. They are chaotic. A delicious chaos. They're actually releasing their debut album early next year, on January 5th, 2024. And I know that I personally will be purchasing the album and following this band in their career. I'm excited for their future, and I see a lot of potential in them. It blows my mind that a new band, at least in comparison to those bands that have been around forever, you know, in comparison to some of the giants we see today, it blows my mind to see somebody new really making it out there. That they've already gotten to play with bands like War, I Hate God, and Go Or. And it's really nice to see people my age finally able to rise up in the scene. If this type of music interests you, I highly recommend checking out Cancer Christ. They have music available to listen to on Bandcamp and Spotify, and the guys are very, very active on Instagram. I highly recommend seeing them perform, play, do whatever you want to call it at their shows. Personally, I think I'll be seeing this band multiple times in the future, more than I can count. And once again, I highly recommend you guys to see them too, because they are just fun. They are so fun. Thank you. Corpse. Come on. 